Hello dear learner, welcome to our competency-based digital lessons. Our learning area in this video is science and technology. In this lesson, we will learn about the human skeleton. In a competency-based education program, you are able to become an engaged, empowered, and ethical citizen. The goal is to nurture your full abilities. We urge you to believe in yourself. We encourage you to explore your interests and talents. Become the best version of yourself. You have what it takes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. State the parts of the human skeleton. 2. Describe the functions of the skeleton in human beings. In our lesson, we will answer the following questions. Question number 1. What are the main parts of the human skeleton? Question number 2. What are the functions of the skeleton in human beings? The human skeleton has different bones. Can you see the skull? Can you see the rib cage? Can you see the limb bones? Limbs are arms and legs. Can you see the arm bones? Can you see the leg bones? Can you see the backbone? The backbone is also called the spine. Human beings have a backbone. They are vertebrates. This is the skull. It is made up of head bones. The skull protects the brain. Always protect your skull. Wear a helmet when you ride a bicycle or a motorbike. What are the parts of your arm? You have the upper arm and the forearm. You also have the wrist, the hand, and the fingers. Look at the arm bones. See the upper arm bone. See the forearm bones. See the wrist bones. See the hand bones. See the finger bones. During play, always take care of all your bones. parts of your leg. You have the thigh and the lower leg. You also have the knee, the ankle, foot, the toes. Look at the leg bones. See the thigh bone. See the knee bone. See the lower leg bones. See the ankle bones. See the foot and toe bones. What are the functions of the human skeleton? Let us find out. The skeleton enables you to stand upright. The skeleton enables to sit up in the right posture. How can you protect your bones? Always sit and stand in the right posture. Sit and stand with your back straight. and supports the body as we walk, run and stretch. How else can you take care of your bones? You can do physical exercises. What activities do you do during the physical and health education fair? Lessons. Do you jog? Do you run? Do you stretch? Do you do push-ups? The skeleton enables us to do all these exercises. At home and in school, help with tasks that allow you to move various parts of the body. Being active helps to strengthen our bones. The skeleton gives the body shape. 
It also protects our inner organs. The skull protects the brain. The ribcage protects the lungs and the heart. Bones play an important part in protecting the body against diseases. Bones also absorb and store minerals until the body requires them. These are the minerals present in the foods that we eat. Did you know that bones also produce blood? Bone marrow is the spongy substance found inside the bones. Blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. Now you know. Ways can you take care of your bones? There are many ways of taking care of our bones. <laughs>During physical and health education lessons, stretch all the parts of your body. Stretching strengthens our bones and muscles. This keeps us healthy. During play, be careful not to suffer injuries. Do not play risky games. Do not jump from high heights. Take care at all times. How else can you take care of your bones? When you ride a bicycle or a motorbike, wear a helmet. In what ways can you take care of your leg bones? During sports, wear protective leg and knee pads. Ensure that you and others are also safe at all times. Here is an interesting fact to find out. Between a child and a grown-up, who has more bones? Did you get it right? A baby has more bones than an adult. A baby has between 300 and 350 bones. An adult has about 206 bones. As we grow older, various bones fuse. This means that they join or merge into single bones. Use the internet to find out more interesting facts about the human skeleton. Share your findings with other learners, your friends at home and in school, your family members and people in your community.